Why do we got to be the party of taking something away no, from people? No one is the okay, party. Well, That's on what second. they're running on. They're no. running on telling half the country that your health insurance is illegal. It says it right in the bill. At the end of the day, I'm not going to support any plan that rips away quality health care from individuals. This is an example of wish list economics. So I think Democrats win when we run on real solutions, not impossible promises. When we run on things that are workable, not fairy tale economics. I get a little bit tired of Democrats afraid of big ideas. Republicans are not afraid of big ideas. Medicare for all is comprehensive. It covers all health care needs for senior citizens. It will finally include dental care, hearing aids, and eyeglasses. But you don't know Second that. of all. You don't know that, Second Bernie. of all. We'll come I, to you in a second, I do know when I wrote the damn bill. I think if we're going to force Americans to make these radical changes, they're not going to go along. You, you throw your hands up. But you, right. you haven't implemented. <laughs> oh, I can do it. But you haven't implemented the plans. You know, I don't understand why anybody goes to all the trouble of running for president of the United States just to talk about what we really can't do and shouldn't fight for. <laughs> We are the Democrats. We are not about trying to take away health care from anyone. That's what the Republicans are trying to do. And we should stop using Republican talking points in order to talk with each other about how to best provide that health care. that we're having here tonight, if you think any of this wonkiness is going to deal with this dark psychic force of the collectivized hatred that this president is bringing up in this country, then I'm afraid that the Democrats are going to see some very dark days. We need to say it like it is. It's bigger than Flint. It's all over this country. It's particularly people of color. It's particularly people who do not have the money to fight back. And if the Democrats don't start saying it, then why would those people feel that they're there for us? And if those people don't feel it, they won't vote for us and Donald Trump will win. Thank you very much. And if you were watching this at home and you are a Republican member of Congress, consider the fact that when the sun sets on your career and they are writing your story of all the good and bad things you did in your life, the thing you will be remembered for is whether in this moment with this president, you found the courage to stand up to him or you continue to put party over country. Thank you, Mayor. Senator Sanders.